I think we can do it if we tried, if only to say you're mine. So fear not that you'll and I shouldn't feel like a crime. I think we can do it if we tried, if only to say you're mine. Good morning. It is before 6 a.m. I'm heading to Kurt's office because I'm going to be filming for, our, I'm gonna do a live stream for our book club on my book channel. We live in a one room. I didn't wanna wake him up or force him to be awake this early. So I'm gonna use his office. Now it's getting a little busy, but as I was walking, something that I really loved about New York City when I was living there was there were these moments where like if I was coming home from a concert or something, there were times where I would have, looking in all directions, I would be alone in the city. And there's something like so eerie but magical about having an entire city to yourself, like being completely alone in a place that you know is very, usually very busy. Um, so I always enjoyed that in Korea. I also enjoy it, however, whenever I get a little bit wigged out, like if I haven't seen a person in a while, and I, I like get a little scared. There are so many places, especially in my area, that are 24 hours, that are 24 hours open, that I can just like pop into a convenience store if I like need to see another person and like remind myself I'm not in a zombie survival movie. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to, I guess this will be just kind of like a week of my life thing. Um, I edited, way too much like once we got back from Sapporo I had to edit that video and then film and edit another video so I wore myself out um so I took a little break it was nice now I'm just gonna I don't know try and catch up on life so see you guys when we get to the office thank god they have free coffee there um happy Sunday Sophia, not a Okay, hey, problems I didn't foresee. The entire building has um, like an air purifier going. Can you hear that? Well, yeah, you definitely can because it's loud. It's every, it's pervasive. Haven't used that word in a while. Um, throughout the whole building. So I'm nervous to do this because normally when you do a book club, you have like multiple people in the stream and this one it's just me because i knew that i was going to be disorganized and and it was going to be hectic because of travel and stuff um so i'm i'm nervous but i know that the people who are in this book club and like in this community are so sweet so i feel like we're, we're just all gonna try and make it the best that we can and i am caffeinated warmed up my voice ready to go let me finish setting up i've got 30 more minutes eh? um but morning everyone happy monday um trying to get a productive start to the week and so i am starting off this morning trying to finish the blog post for my sapporo trip um so you have a link to all the places that i went and stuff like that and so this is a great opportunity to give a shout out to squarespace for sponsoring this video as you guys know 
Um, Squarespace is a wonderful place to host your online presence. I use it personally for a blog, um, but you can use it for a shop because they have wonderful monetization features. You can use it for an online community because they have different membership and subscription levels. They have great comment sections. They have wonderful analytics. I love the analytics because they tell me what you guys are searching for, what you guys are most interested in where you're coming from, are you reading on web or mobile, etc. You can connect your social media accounts. I can go on and on and on, but I have used Squarespace for years and I really love them. It's really simple to set up. They have all of these free templates. And so if you want to try it out for free, you can go to squarespace.com, set up your website, see how it would look. And if you like how it looks, you can go to squarespace.com slash carry cakes to get 10% off of your first website or domain. And you can launch that baby and it will be up and at them. So I'm going to finish writing this and then we're gonna head out. Yeah, <laughs> happy Monday. <laughs> Thank you Squarespace. Information will be in the description box. It's really noisy, but I wanted to stop here because there's an espresso bar and it's standing only. And this is like a new trend. They're everywhere in Seoul. Um, so if you, I don't know, are looking for a standing only espresso bar, there's thousands and there's opening. A new one opens every day. Just wanted to point that out. But now I am going to Artbox and I'm going to try and buy origami paper because Lord knows I need another hobby, but um, <laughs> let's go. Well, I made it nine minutes into this 39 minute tutorial for this frog. I really thought I was more advanced than I was. This is what I was trying to make. <laughs> I'm really good at following directions. So I assumed I could do this after watching it through once, but no, let's try an easier one. <laughs> Good morning, once again, I thought it was warmer than it is. I'm very cold. We are in, where are we? Yunhee, Yunnam, the border. We are heading to this cafe that is inspired by none other than Kiki's Delivery Service. I'm really excited. And yeah, that's literally the only plan today. I feel like I have post travel energy levels where I kind of just want to stay at home. So I'm pushing myself to go outside and I feel like Kiki is a good good way to do that so anyway it's windy it's very cold I gotta put my hands away uh, see you at the cafe <laughs>
Hi, that cafe was adorable. Look, another espresso bar, what did I tell you? It was really cute and there were so many, just everybody was really excited to be there and I love places like that. But now I'm gonna head home to pick up my laptop so that we can go work on planning my Prague and Vienna trip. successful planning session it is now glorious golden hour um yeah i typically when i'm doing solo travel um i like to kind of figure out my days like especially when i have a limited time in a city i try to separate like i'm gonna conquer this neighborhood today you know so i just make sure like things are open and whatever so i have it all planned at least for Prague, I ended up kind of extending my trip a little bit um, and tentatively uh, I want to do a meetup in Prague on that Friday, the, if Friday is the 10th, then that day, late afternoon, could go into the evening. I have no plans that day. Um, and then for Vienna, I think it's the 15th or the 16th. It's a Wednesday. I'm sorry that it, they're weekdays, but those are the only days that I'm like there. Um, so I'll put more information um, down below like once we get closer, but it's feeling real. It's three weeks away. I'm really excited. But anyway, I'm gonna head home because um, it's Valentine's Day. We're gonna just stay home and order pizza and watch a movie. I just got us Disney Plus and we're really excited about that. So anyway, I'm gonna continue my You're Wrong About episode and I'll see you at home. I'll swim through space What I thought it was, it isn't But I'll remember that face da, 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 da. unhinged and I feel it. Today is a work from home day. I'm just gonna be sitting at my desk doing stuff. I have my little to-do list and I've already checked off the first thing so I'm feeling real good. I think that's it. Tomorrow I get to go to the hospital for a checkup. Um, always a fave. Yeah, I think that's all that's going on that's interesting. I'm gonna fold my laundry. I feel like I'm always doing laundry. I was actually thinking about this of like the things that I do choose to share on this channel. Like I was thinking as I was kind of looking over this footage, especially like I cut off my filming at certain times because I don't film when Kurt's home cause he works a full time job and I like to just hang out with him without filming. So like, I feel like I just don't exist in the night unless Kurt's not there. <laughs> so yeah, I know that you don't mind. I just thought that it was funny. Like I, it was just, more obvious i feel like in this video um when i'm like not filming but anyway yeah i'm almost done with howl's moving castle highly recommend this is like i mean look at how messed up the spine is i mean this is a book that i reread and reread and reread um but yeah i'm gonna i'm making a cozy fantasy rec video coming soon so i'm rereading Lots of cozy things and it's great. Anyway, yeah, happy Valentine's Day. I also found this Q&A that Kurt and I did two years ago, almost three years ago, um, and I forgot about it. So here it is if you wanna hear like baby us doing Q&As. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm going to focus and I will probably see you tomorrow. I don't think I'm gonna film my work. Look at this. 
it's it's a mess it's not really cute but that's what we're doing so i'll see you on thursday okay bye <laughs> Happy Friday. Um, I didn't film yesterday because I ended up being at the hospital all day. Not a big deal, just like a lot of waiting time. I was literally there from 10 to five. Don't recommend, but anyway, um, I am going to be eating my scrambled eggs with tomato sauce, which is wonderful. This was a big like college time meal. And today I actually, because I couldn't do any of this stuff yesterday like I planned, um, I have to film a book video and I'm gonna try and like edit that today because I'm slightly behind schedule. And then um, I think tomorrow maybe we'll do this, but uh, Olivia just messaged me. This is great. When people keep asking me like, what should I buy for my friends when I'm going back to the States or like, what should I buy when I'm in Korea? I brought, well, let me go get them, hold on. So when I went back to California to visit Olivia in October, I guess it was, I brought her this. These are eye masks that are like hot packs. They come in a little pouch. There's a lot of trash involved. I don't recommend using them every day, but if you work on your computer a lot or anything that makes your eyes really fatigued these they're kind of like goggles <laughs> can you see that like you put them on and they're heat packs for like 20 minutes they can go up to 40 degrees celsius and they just like literally just warm and soothe your eyes they're amazing and she messaged me and was like how can I get my hands on more of those? <laughs> so um, I'm going to, I raided my local Olive Young, but I wanna pop to a couple other ones to get her some more boxes. Um, and then I wanna send her a couple snacks. So maybe we'll do that tomorrow. But I need to eat and then get to work. It's a beautiful day. I went for a walk, very nice out. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> Finished filming, now to edit. <laughs> finished everything. I have finished editing. I have finished my thumbnail. I'm, I've been holding on to this. I'm going to make this today. I do not have any naan. I do not have any rice. I'm just, I'm desperate. I'm really hungry. So, well, it already smells legit actually. I'm intrigued. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry that I'm going to eat this like soup, but it, I already taste tested it. It's not like as good, but if you're in a bind, this was really cheap compared to like prices of a lot of Indian restaurants here. It's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. So anyway, um, this thing just did its thing, <laughs> words. Um, so I'm going to upload it and do stuff and then we might head out. I did this in record time. It's only 2.40, so good for me. Yeah, I don't, I, I just gotta eat. I'm so hungry. Okay, bye! Sunday. I just took a nice little bus ride over to the Naksandae Sharosugil area. Um, not to be confused with Karosugil, I made a video about this place a really long time ago, but there's an area near Naksandae that people call Sharosugil. I'm getting a little coffee. I'm going to be meeting Sydney because the book fairy 
needs to. I'm gonna give her a book that I read and I'm ready to part with. Also, there was a man on my bus who had a full blown like gelled up to here mohawk and I haven't seen one of those in so long and I just wanna thank him. That was great to see. There's also a cat, hold on. Fantastic, but anyway, um, I'm gonna get a little bit of coffee first. This is dangerous. How do you get on the sidewalk? Okay, so I'm gonna get coffee first and then we're gonna meet Sydney. We're gonna do the exchange and I'll see you then. lovely to see Sydney and catch you later it's freezing we got like unexpectedly super cold and windy and it's super noisy so I'll talk to you later okay. hi everyone I changed because we had to go back out into the cold for dinner um I'm going to end my week here because my week is ending here. I'm going to get in bed and I'm going to attempt, pray for me, I'm going to attempt to read Harrow the Ninth again. It's too complex for my itty bitty brain, but we're going to try it. Um, I posted my Sapporo vlog today. Um, thank you guys so much for your comments. Um, I'm, I really loved that trip and I loved being able to edit a travel vlog again. Um, so thank you for watching it if you have. I'm just like getting in bed really early because I'm actually meeting a friend tomorrow morning really early um, before she gets on her plane because we were exchange students together. Um, she, I went to Japan and lived with people and then some people from Japan came to my place and lived with me and my friends. Um, she, so I've known her since high school when I did that um, Japanese exchange. So that'll be really exciting to see her, but I'm gonna be a zombie. So <laughs> I need to go to sleep as soon as possible. I'm wearing my Kiki delivery socks. That's literally the only thing going on in my life right now. So I'm going to leave you here. Uh, once again, thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this. Link will be down below. Um, you can get 10% off of your first website or domain if you go to squarespace.com slash carrycakes. Um, you can check out my Sapporo vlog information. Um, I made a little blog post there. And is that it? Yes. Uh, the countdown begins to Europe. I'm so, I'm stoked. And I will catch you guys next time. My, my brain is absolutely turning off. I'm so sleepy and I had way too much coffee today. So my, I, I'm like short circuiting. Anyway, I, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Thank you always. Wish me luck on Hero the Ninth. If any of you guys have read it, please don't spoil it, but just you know that I need luck. So, in I go. Bye! <laughs>